Okay, so we finally got official confirmation from George himself about the canceled prequel and also the Game of Thrones prequel that is going forward. And I think it's exciting news, but I understand some people are probably going to be a little upset. Also, Winds of Winter, he talked about that. So there's something, just in case you don't care about the Game of Thrones spinoff shows, successor shows, whatever you want to call them. So by now you probably know the show about the Long Night has been canceled. They filmed the pilot. They <laughs> did everything for it and people at HBO saw it and went, yeah, mm, this isn't going to happen. And of course, we knew that at one point there were five plus different spinoff shows in the works and that three of them were pretty close to being greenlit. The Long Night prequel, of course, was greenlit for a pilot. The one, which is the newest one, the House of the Dragon. And then there's one more that George is still being mum about. But I want to talk about the two prequels he did give us more information on. So yes, George has confirmed that the prequel show about the Long Night, though not called the Long Night, has been canceled. Also, that it never had a definitive title. So I really hated the, the name Blood Moon, and I guess that was never the official title either. So I want to read really quick what George said on the canceling of the Long Night prequel before going into the really exciting stuff, which is the news about House of the Dragon. I would be remiss if I did not also mention the bad news. HBO also announced that it has decided not to proceed with the other successor show we had in development. The one I kept calling The Long Night. Though it was, and remains, officially untitled. The pilot for which was shot in Northern Ireland last spring and summer, set thousands of years before either Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon, and centered on the Starks and the White Walkers. The untitled pilot was written by Jane Goldman, directed by S.G. Clarkson, and starred Naomi Watts, Miranda Richardson, and a splendid cast. It goes without saying that I was saddened to hear the show would not be going to series. Jane Goldman is a terrific screenwriter, and I enjoyed brainstorming with her. So, yeah, it is officially canceled. Those of you that were holding out for the Long Night prequel, some glimmer of hope it would still happen. Probably not, though you never know years down the road. Maybe HBO decides to go with it. They can always rework the pilot, maybe write it in a way where they want to go forward with it. It is interesting that even George didn't know why they canceled it exactly, <laughs> but you don't always know why executives for a company go, yeah, no, this isn't going to work. Now, for those of you thinking that it was because House of the Dragon got greenlit and that's what caused the Long Night prequel show to be canceled, George said in his not a blog on his website, that's not it. It was never an either or the Long Night prequel show being canceled had nothing to do with the House of the Dragon. So on that he wrote, I do not know why HBO decided not to go to series on this one, but I do not think it had to do with House of the Dragon. This was never an either or situation. If television has room enough for multiple CSIs and Chicago shows, well, Westeros and Essos are a lot bigger with thousands of years of history and enough tales and legends and characters for a dozen shows. Heartbreaking as it is to work for years on a pilot, to pour your blood and sweat and tears into it, and have it come to naught, it's not at all uncommon. I've been there myself, more than once. I know Jane and her team are feeling the disappointment just now, and they have all my sympathy, with my thanks for all their hard work, and my good wishes for whatever they do next. So the prequel show about the Long Night is dead in the water, but what isn't dead in the water is House of the Dragon, and George confirmed that we're getting 10 episodes. HBO has already ordered the series, we're getting 10 episodes. He didn't say how long they would be, but I would guess around an hour. Of course, that can completely change. I'm just going with what's been standard for the main show, which is probably not a good standard to go by, but... If you're worried about getting your hopes up, like, oh, they're saying we're getting this prequel now and they're going to shoot the pilot and then they're just going to rip it away. No, they've ordered 10 episodes that we are definitely getting. Unless something happens like the zombie apocalypse or something, then, you know, 
not really HBO's fault at that point. Unless it is. So this was what George wrote in confirmation of the House of the Dragon and its 10 episodes that were ordered by HBO. Last night in Hollywood at the Warner Media Day, HBO made it official. We have a green light for a Game of Thrones successor show. Not just a pilot, but a full season order for 10 episodes. House of the Dragon is the title of the new show, and needless to say, it will be centered on House Targaryen, set a couple centuries before the events of A Song of Ice and Fire, and based upon Archmaester Gildane's imaginary history, Fire and Blood. The new series will be helmed by a couple of great showrunners, Ryan Condal and Miguel Spouknik. I'm so sorry, I probably said that really wrong. George also in his Nada blog really hyped up Ryan Condal, and you may know him from some really amazing works he's done, so... George seems to hype up a lot of the people working on his A Song of Ice and Fire material, but he, he's been talking and he's worked with Ryan before, so I'm, I'm pretty hopeful. And with Miguel there, M Miguel's also awesome and he has a good track record with the the main show so if you're wondering what the show is exactly going to be about besides the targaryens <laughs> during their rule in westeros unfortunately they're not going with what i was hoping they would which is starting at egg on the first and going through every king either a, a season of each king or even a half season that would have been the most epic fantasy drama ever for HBO, and they could have gone on for so long. Probably longer than what they'd want to with how many Targaryen kings there are, but I don't know. I feel like they could have made it work, but no, they're actually only going to focus on a specific time period in the Targaryen rule of the Seven Kingdoms, and it's the Targaryen Civil War, the Dance of the Dragons, and how we know that is what he also wrote on his website. House of the Dragon has been in development for several years, though the title has changed a couple times during that process. It was actually the first concept I pitched to HBO when we started talking about a successor show, way back in the summer of 2016. If you'd like to know a bit more about what the show will be about, well, I can't actually spill those beans, but you might want to pick up a copy of two anthologies I did, Dangerous Women and Rogues, and then move on to Archmaester Gildane's history, Fire and blood. So if you're curious, Dangerous Women and Rogues is about the certain time period I talked about, the Dance of the Dragons, so that's a huge hint. Hey, first read those two stories if you want to know what this, this series is going to be about. So they are honing in on a certain time, which is a really interesting time. I mean, there's a lot they can do, and boy is that CGI budget going to be insane. If you want to read Rogues and Dangerous Women, they're a pretty short read. You could honestly, I'd say an hour, maybe read both, hour or two, depending on your reading speed. It's it's a good, it's a fast read, it's interesting. And then you can always look up in the world of Ice and Fire or even in Fire and Blood. You could also just read the wiki, but I will warn you when it comes to Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire, the wiki is full of incorrect bits of information, and I'm not even going to bother going into that mess and trying to correct shit and, and fix annotations and all that, because not my job. I do not want to spend my time doing that. It would waste too much of it. Holy shit. Lastly, if you are concerned that George will be focusing on House of the Dragon and not on Winds of Winter, he was very clear that he is going to work on Winds of Winter and not touch a single script for this new show. So he wrote, But let me make this perfectly clear. That was in bold. I'm not taking on any scripts until I have finished and delivered Winds of Winter. Winter is still coming, and Winds remains my priority, as much as I'd love to write an episode of House. So don't freak out on George. He's still working on Winds. That being said, I cannot see him... He's going to be distracted by this show. And he has so many other projects, so I, I, I get he's trying to calm people down and calm the hate wave that's going to come at him, but there's no way he's going to keep his fingers out of this cookie jar. It's just, it's not in the man. And I don't blame him. I mean, that is his world you created, but I love how he's trying to assure people, please, God, don't send me death threats. 
I'm still working on Winds of Winter, please. So what are all your thoughts on the canceling of the prequel show about the Long Night and how we already have 10 episodes ordered for House of the Dragon? Are you excited? Disappointed? Do you wish they would have covered more Targaryen kings in the series? Or are you like so pumped for the Targaryen Civil War and just to see a bunch of dragons just fucking each other up? Like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below.